Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Tom Toughness, joined with my elegant wife, Sarah. Mm. Yeah, capital E and elegant. I don't think you've ever said that I before. I say wonderful words to you all the wow. time. Wow. Anyways, we are here checking out a brand new band with a singer that we both know. The band is called Wag Wagaki Band. Wagaki Band. Wagaki. Yeah. I love that word. Uh, and the song is Bring Me to Life featuring Amy Lee. Amy Lee is the lead singer of the band Evanescence, uh, in case you lived under the rock the past 20 years. Uh, but I guess this is a collaboration. It's a live performance. We both know this song. Yeah, this is um, usually my go-to like karaoke song. Absolutely. It's, like the only one on the list that I know. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, But no, it was a great song when it came out. It was hugely popular. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've heard my wife sing this song quite a few times, and it's quite enjoyable. Maybe she'll, uh, you know, do a little ditty. Probably not today. Okay, well, just um, a thought. But I will enjoy listening to them. Yeah. Do it, um, so. so we've never reacted to Wagaki Band. Uh, Google told us that they are like a folk rock metal group that uses traditional Japanese instruments. Uh, so that should be interesting. I don't really know what a... I don't know, really know exactly what kind of instruments we're looking at. I don't know. I mean, so they're a Japanese band, so I'm assuming, like, you're going to... Your light is moving. It, yeah, it is. It's fine. It'll be fine. Okay. That's, sorry. I'm sorry. I got completely <laughs> distracted. You're so observed. Well, observant. I just thought that was going to fall down and... It might. Um, okay. We might have a crash, but anyways... Anyways, uh, whatever we were talking about. Yeah. Japanese folk rock band. Yes, so yeah. before we dive in, do me a favor, <laughs> feel free to like and subscribe. That way I know that you guys enjoy this type of reaction, this kind of music, because I don't know what to expect. I don't know if I'm going to enjoy it. I probably will if Amy Lee's in it, because this is a I great song. I think it's going to be enjoyable. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so let's check it out. Wagaki Band, Bring Me to Life with Amy Lee. <laughs> okay. Oh, Interesting. I, Interesting. This actually fits very, very well. It does. Um, yeah. I liked the the cut time right away before you hear just like um, yeah, it's it's a little like faster going. Mm -hmm. Be I guess just like the drums are you know going at a. This sounds really cool. Yeah, really, really cool with it the fits. instruments. I it like fits. it. I um. I'm like, why aren't they playing this stuff when we go out to eat? Like, oh yeah, you take <laughs> at a me Chinese to a Japanese, restaurant or something, or oh, Japanese, Japanese restaurant. Yeah, like, like why Japanese aren't steakhouse. they playing play this? this? Play um, this, please. I totally this, this. like, I could. This could be at the end of like Mortal Kombat or like you know oh, one of those like yeah. movies. Like, this just sounds so good. Yeah. Who would have thought? <laughs> the things they do. I yeah, swear. This sounds uh, good. I gotta say, Amy Lee still has a vocally to do yeah. the song. Because I, I feel like this is a very, uh, you would know, I feel like this is a very tough song to sing, let alone trying to sing Amy Lee in general. She's an incredible talent. Uh, but Well, I think live, doing this live, um, I think is probably more difficult. Um, yeah, to, I mean, just sound-wise. Because, yeah, things in a studio are produced. Um, right. But, yeah, it's still she still sounds great live. I think everything that we've heard her do recently... Now it's been how many years since? I mean, this song they is, came out. This song's got to be 
I don't know, uh, fi- over 15 years old. I don't old. know, but she still sounds great. And yeah. you kind of like, not that you anticipate a decline in singers, but it's almost like after so many years. You notice like the, you the aging in someone's yeah, voice. Yeah, but she not still say sounds it, great. It sounds bad, but yeah, she's still killing it. Yeah, there's some people you're like, okay, just stop singing. Like, you can be yeah. done. Like, But no, she sounds uh, great. Yeah, she's got plenty of years to go. But yeah. so far, so good. Loving, I got to hear that little, I don't I know like what kind of guitar tomorrow. that was. Yeah. That thing's, what it, Whatever this thing is. I don't know, but it I sounded really good. I want one. <laughs> I was not expecting it. There. Before we get into the crazy rock part, because we're going to back it up. Um, another thing I want to touch on, I love, like, the Asian culture as far as, like, their outfits that they wear, especially Japanese. The, the kimonos and, yeah, yeah I love I that, too. I think it's so cool. Yeah. Um, we're bland. We wear T-shirts here in the States, like... You could wear a kimono. Je- jeans and a T-shirt. If I go out there and wear something like this, yeah, right. People are going to look <laughs> at me funny. Um, shout out to the guy who's doing the male part. Like he's yeah. he's doing a really good yes, job. Um, yep. so I'm excited to hear the rap coming up. Um, I like that you can hear every every instrument. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, the, the orchestra, the orchestra, really good. and they still have like you know your traditional drum set, but you can hear um those um well those are actually traditional drums, but the other guys playing. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I guess I don't know in um. The Asian culture, if those drums are called anything else, but they just remind me of like orchestra timpanis. But I know they're not; they're just your. I don't know, but you can actually hear those along mm-hmm. with the other drums. I um, the flute guy. <laughs> <laughs> the flute. Everybody loves um, the good old flute guy. <laughs> man, he's killing it. He had a bunch of like riffs in there that you could hear that were really nice. Mm-hmm. Um, wasn't overpowering, wasn't distracting. It fits so well. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The wind the wind instruments are insane. Yeah. And you can hear, you can even hear like the, you know, the plucked yeah. stringed instruments back there. Like it just I'm, sounds so good. To be honest, I actually like this better than the original so far. I really do. I do too. I like if I yeah. if, like especially for this being a live performance, now you take this in the studio and like clean it up a little bit and get all the mixing perfect and everything. I think this would blow the original out of the water easily. I can imagine this probably sounded so good live. I mean, I'm gonna miss I'm gonna miss the the singer from it was the singer from Twelve Stones that sang the male part in this. I, I mean, I'm gonna miss his voice because he did an incredible job. Yeah. But this guy's still doing a great job with it for sure. But yeah, this is just really cool. Let's keep going. Oh, let's get to the best part. Her harmonies are really good too. Yep. Yeah, 
my legs are so numb right now. <laughs> crowd is awesome let's just throw that out there big shout out to the crowd like everyone's like in sync like let's look, watch it. Look at that. they're just perfectly in sync with like doing yeah this. you think they got like a director out front maybe like, probably like everyone do this <laughs> the, the out there with those little straw that he uses I feel like, yeah you give anyone light sticks man they're gonna use oh, yeah. them that was cool um yeah i mean this would be a really cool show to go see live yeah for sure. yep um their voices sounded really nice is. together. Um, Some type of guitar harp concoction thing. I don't know. I mean, I think I feel like I want to learn more about like the Japanese culture as far as their instruments because they're really cool. They sound similar, incredible. Yeah, like that steel guitar kind of, yeah. but like uh, more intense. Yeah, it's probably called something. I don't know what it'd be called. Yeah, you guys. Can but it let is. Us know. It is. That was huge, though. Did you see it? I think it was <laughs> at the beginning. Yeah, it's massive. There's. Yeah, it's huge. Um, um, it sounds awesome. Yeah, I, and no disrespect to Evanescence because you guys did a great job, but for me, this was just so epic. Like, I enjoyed this a lot more than the original. Um, it was just very, very impressive to watch. Well, I just, I love that you can take a song that you can, I don't know if you call it iconic, but most of America knows. Oh, yeah. Evanescence. If you know Evanescence, you know the song. Like, and for another culture, then to take it and make it their own, that is so cool. Yep. Like, be neat to hear this song just from yeah all different kinds of cultures and putting oh, their yeah. their musical influence on it would just be neat for sure to see but you can i like that you can interweave and interpret things and that's what music's about absolutely yeah there you have it ladies and gentlemen what gaki band featuring amy lee the song bring me to life easy two thumbs up I loved love it, it. Yeah. so so cool to watch and listen to uh, but anyways, guys, if you do us a favor of liking and subscribing on your way out, like I said, I would love to keep bringing this kind of uh, music here on the channel because this is the stuff that just impresses me most. Is something that I've never seen before, and it's just cool. Yeah, but, it is cool. Yeah. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope to catch you at our next reaction, my friends. Take care, be safe, and goodbye. Bye.